Hello Puppet fans. And welcome to this lecture. Configure Tomcat module and deploy on Puppet clients. In this lecture we will generate the Tomcat module. And will configure it to install on GNOME 1. So if you are a running old version of Puppet. Or where PDK is not supported generate the module with Puppet module generate command. And if PDK is supported generate the module with PDK new module Tomcat and provide the inputs for Puppet Forge username Who wrote this module? License And what operating system it supports kind of questions And your module will be generated after giving all the inputs Now list the files generated in Tomcat module. Next we have to configure the Tomcat module so go to slash etc slash puppet lab slash code slash environment slash production slash modules slash Tomcat slash manifests directory and create files. Install.pp Config.pp And Service.pp Now edit install.pp file and add entries Class Tomcat colon install Package, Tomcat, Tomcat Web Ops Ensure equals greater than installed Now save the file and run puppet parser validate to validate the installed.pp Next run puppet lint to validate the code style as I have not documented the file so Puppet is giving error for class not documented. So edit the file again and add the document the class. Save the file and run Puppet lint again and check for any error. Next edit service.pp file and add entries. Class Tomcat colon service. Service, Tomcat Ensure equals greater than running Now save the file Next create a node definition for node 1 Create node.pp file in slash etc slash puppet lab slash code slash environment slash production slash manifest slash directory and add entries. Include tomcat colon install include tomcat colon service and save the file. So we have configured the tomcat module and assigned to a node definition. So let's test the configuration by running the Puppet Agent T on node 1. Once done you can check Tomcat has been installed and Tomcat services are running. Also you will get a default index page when you will open your Tomcat page with your node 1 IP and port 8080. Ok, so in this section we have configured the Tomcat module and deployed on Puppet clients. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to declare classes in init.pp.